My book, This Is Not Propaganda, is essentially a travelogue. I go all around the world, Latin America, the Middle East, Asia, Russia, and unlike most travelogues, it's not about tourism, it's about propaganda and how it's changed across the world. The patterns that we see, the use of conspiracy theories and online techniques to manipulate people, and the introduction of information war. Often the innovation comes from countries which are chaotic democracies, where there is competition, there's motivation to create propaganda, there's a lot of dirty things you can do. But in terms of using it as foreign policy, using it in terms of warfare, then Russia is the great pioneer. It's a travelogue about propaganda and how we can fight it. There is no one solution. I wish there was one that would make things easier. We need new regulation to legally stop some of the worst things happening. We need a new type of media and communication which competes with the propagandists. You can't just educate people, you know, that's very romantic. People will understand and get better. It's, it doesn't, it's not like that. You need to compete. You need to be able to reach audiences and the propagandists are reaching. So regulation, but also competition. And I very much chose the different countries because they're symbolic of bigger problems. I think for a Georgian reader, they will find many, many themes from other countries which relate to Georgia, from the use of conspiracy theories to control society through to Russia's use of information war. So I very much hope that the Georgian reader will see a lot of themselves in it and will start finding some solutions.